Hello, in today's class we will be learning about mouse. We will learn how mouse buttons work, what are the functions of mouse and the types of mouse. Mouse. Mouse is a pointing device as it has the shape of a pointer as you can see on screen and it always points at the place that where we are working and it always shows which kind of work we are doing. Now, mouse is an input device. We have already learned about the classification of input device and output devices. Remember? So, since we are giving uh, computer the commands and orders with the help of mouse like opening a file, closing a file, selecting this text, copying this file, pasting that text, etc. With the help of mouse, it is an input device. Now, just imagine for a second what we would have been doing without the help of mouse. What if mouse never existed? What if no one ever invented the mouse? Well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? We would be doing all kind of functions and commanding with the help of keyboard and keyboard only. We would be typing those lengthy functions with the help of keyboard and moreover, we will have to memorize and remember those functions and commands. So, it would make this computer subject all very complex, tedious and boring, like maths and science. But since we have mouse, it's not necessary. Computer is as easy as it was ever. Uh, this mouse has made our life very, actually a lot easier. And so we can say mouse is a substitute or rather alternative to the keyboard. And those people, those great people who, have, who has done this favor on us are Douglas Engelbert and Mr. Bill English who has created this first mouse in early 1960s. Now, mouse buttons. It's obvious that mouse has two buttons. There is a left button and the right button. And between those buttons, we have the scroll wheel. Scroll wheel as it scrolls the page up and down. Now, the left button. Left button is used for clicking for some kind of icon or choosing some options and the right click the right click is used to open a drop down menu or an op option menu like this wherever you will click it will show a shortcut menu yeah this way so this is the use of right click of the mouse now the functions of mouse there are so many functions but these functions are the basic so first of all holding the mouse if you are left handed person then use your left hand but if you are a right hand person then you have to use your right hand but for those who use the left hand they might have to change some functioning of mouse i mean with the help of control panel they have to change the sides now the left click as we have discussed earlier left click is used to select a task or open a file now the double click uh, if you want to open a file then you have to click the left button twice in a quick succession now the right click i have already explained with example wherever you wherever you will click with the help of right click it will open a drop down menu now click hold and drag for that we'll do a small exercise if i want this first slide to be on second rank then first of all I'll click on the, the slide with the right click then drag it and leave it here on the second place now again i'll do the same exercise click drag and leave see now i'll do clicking on this left click now. This way this click, hold and drag works. Now the wheel. The wheel is nothing but just the scroll wheel that is between the left button and the right button. It is used for the page up and page down functions like this. I am not touching the scroll bar or rather I am using the slide motions. I am just using the scrolling. See this is how it works. Now the types of mouse the first one is traditional mouse 
the traditional mouse uses the port that is uh, installed in CPU for the installation of mouse. Now, uh, for this kind of mouse, no uh, special application or driver is needed in computer as the computer have the basic driver itself inbuilt. Um, but this traditional mouse used to have this kind of computer bowl, this actually rubber bowl in it. And this was the one which detected the motions and does the all work of mouse. But this were very sensitive to the dust and this needs the cleaning regularly. That's why they were pretty delicate. And they were pretty popular in the early years of the initial years of this 21st century. Now, the second type, that is the optical mouse. This optical mouse does not have the ball that was in traditional mouse. Rather, it had the optical sensor which detected the motion. Now, this optical mouse worked very efficiently compared to the that traditional mouse. And it uh, was not very affected by the dust. It needs less cleaning than the traditional mouse. Now, the third one. In this wireless era, we have wireless mouse. The wireless mouse, as it suggests, it uh, does not need the help of wire or cables. It can be connected to computer without wires. Uh, it can be connected via Bluetooth or wireless dongle. Suppose, uh, if you have a big enough computer screen and if you want to play the game by lying down 4 or 5 feet away, then you just have to uh, keep your mouse with yourself and play the game. How easier it would be, isn't it? So that's why wireless mouse are very popular today. Now, the last but not the least, that is laptop mouse. Laptop mouse are not very different from the optical mouse. Uh, it's just that they are very compact in a size and they are substitute of trackpad or touchpad. Uh, suppose if the touchpad of your laptop does not work and if you want to do some important work then then this laptop mouse is the best option. Uh, if you want to play some games which are not feasible with the help of touchpad even then this laptop mouse are very handy. So thank you.